The new HP Omen 40L. Is it actually a good option for you? In this video, we will discuss if it's worth a buy or not, depending on your situation and your budget, to buy this new HP Omen 40L. I will explain the components and what this PC is capable of running and whether or not it has a good price performance, warranty and more. That being said, if you want personal PC recommendation, because let's say you have a thousand dollars in your bank account and you need professional help, you will have a link in the video description where you can book a meeting with me and I will help you out. Also, you will have the link to this Omen 40L down below in the video description. That being said, let's start. So first, we are going to talk about the components. For the CPU, we have the i7 13700K, which is from the latest Intel processors on the market. For the graphics card, we have the RTX 4070 Ti, which is the one that I do have currently on my PC build. For the memory, we have 2x8 gigs of DDR5 memory, 16 gigs total. For the storage, we have a 1TB M.2 SSD, and this one already comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth included, as well with Windows 11. Now, if you don't know anything about components, the i7 13700K and the RTX 4070 Ti is a great CPU-GPU combo for 4K gaming and 1440p. If you want to play at 1440p, really high FPS, and I mean the highest FPS possible in the market, this CPU GPU combo makes sense. But also, let's say you want to play at 4K down the line, or maybe you want to play 4K right now, this is definitely possible as well. The RTX 4070 Ti, I believe, is a good 4K GPU. Now, it's not as powerful as something like the RTX 4090, but those probably PCs with that GPU are way more expensive. Talking about price, this one is going for 2350 bucks because it's on sale right now so i do recommend you checking the latest pricing in the video description however for this price i think it's fair considering you have the i7 13700k and the rtx 4070 ti and considering it's a probable pc and probable pcs are usually more expensive than pc builds since you get this i7 it's also a great option for content creators so if you're thinking of video editing the i7 13700k is one of the best cpus out there to do this task however if you're a pro content creator i do recommend you upgrading the ram from 16 gigs to 32 gigs of ram which is pretty easy to do don't worry about it and you can do this down the line if you don't have the money to do it right now now one thing that is important to mention is that if you decide to buy this system you will not be charged until the product is cheap which i believe it's a good thing so overall i would highly recommend this system because of the price to performance but before giving you my conclusion let's compare it with other probable PCs. Let's compare it with the Prism 2 from Skytech. This one is 2400 bucks, so a bit more expensive, and you get the i7 12700F and the RTX 4070 Ti as well. The only differences here are the CPU and the RAM. Here you get 32 gigs of RAM instead of 16, which you may think it's a big difference, but trust me, when it comes to gaming, it's not. And when it comes to content creation, yes, 32 gigs of RAM is recommended, but here you get the i7 12700F, which not only is one generation older, so it's not going to be as powerful for content creation, but it comes with the 12700F, not the K version. If you don't understand what this means, basically it means that it doesn't have integrated graphics and this will help you out for video editing. So this one is a bit more expensive and for gaming it will not be as powerful because of the CPU difference. But maybe you like the aesthetics more, and honestly, if that's the case, it would be fair enough, because some people really care about aesthetics. However, I do think that the HP Omen 40L looks amazing. I did a review on the HP Omen 45L, which has one more fun. You can see that review in the top right of the screen if you wanted to. Now, on Amazon, you can get this Kitex Siege PC for $2,000 and you can even save $200 by applying a $200 coupon, so it's going to be around $1,800 and you also get the RTX 4070 Ti and the i7 12700F, so this is a much better option than the Prism 2 in my opinion because you save a ton of money and get the same components, however, I would still recommend you buying the HP Omen 40L and the reason being is because you get that HP customer support 
support and they are the direct manufacturer of the system. When you buy from Amazon, if you have any issues with DPC, you are not going to talk directly to the ones who assemble the system. For that reason, I still recommend you buying the Omen 40L instead of this one. You also get a better CPU and in my opinion, it has better aesthetics, but of course it's more expensive. So it's really up to your budget as well. If you really don't want to spend that amount of money and you still want a 1440p great gaming experience, by any means, the Skytech Siege from Amazon is a good option. But if I had to choose, I will go with the Omen 40L. About the warranty, the Omen 40L comes with a one year hardware warranty. So my conclusion is that for this price, it's a great system and really worth it for the components that you get. Yes, maybe you can get similar components for this price, but I believe this one to be the highest quality out of all of them. Also, it has good reviews and people highly recommend it as well. You can go ahead and watch these reviews on the HP Omen 40L link provided in the description. Remember that if you need personal PC help, I will help you out if you really need me to and save you a ton of money when buying a probable PC or a PC build. And talking about PC builds, if you're willing to build it yourself, I recommend you watching my video about the RTX 4070 i5 13600K PC build that I've made with benchmarks in the top right of the screen, as well with the Omen 45L review that I made last year. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.